Hi everyone, I'm Tim and you're watching The Man Who Planted Potatoes. Spuds update, potatoes and the shallots are growing bigger week on week. Even that little one that I was worried about that snapped the other day, I like broke its back and it's still like healing and coming back to life. Crucial difference on the shallots is that I turned the big pot round and hopefully that'll mean that the smaller stalks at the back get a chance to sort of, you know, get some sunlight. Meanwhile, I was talking to my friend at work again. By the way, hi Matt, how are you? And we were talking about what to do for the next video. And he was like, why don't you do who invented the potato? And I was like, potatoes are a vegetable. I don't think anyone invented them, but we're gonna do the next best thing, which is where do potatoes come from? Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. The potato is a root vegetable native to the Americas. There are about 5,000 potato varieties worldwide. 3,000 of them are found in the Andes alone, mainly in Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Chile, and Colombia. How about shallots? Shallots probably originated in Central or Southwest Asia. The name shallot comes from Ashkelon, an ancient Canaanite city where people in classical Greek times believed shallots originated. So there you go, guys. Okay, thank you section. On YouTube, thank you to Nelly and Rain X for your comments. And also thank you to my two new subscribers. My emails won't show me who you are, which they normally do, but you know who you are. And that's the important bit. You also might be bots, in which case, thanks so much, bots. On Instagram, thank you to 06 Young Thug and Verba389 for following me. On Facebook, having broken 10 likes two weeks before, we broke 20 likes this week. So thank you to Paul, Jen, and Grace for liking my page. And thank you to Joe for your comment on last week's video about the top 10 things to do with a potato. You don't do the number one thing. I leave it to your imagination what that is. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is a family show, but the next bit is not suitable for children. If you are watching this with your children, please cover their eyes and their ears, or maybe just send them out the room. That might be easier because trust me, parents, you do not want your little darlings hearing about what Joe is talking about. You filthy minded man. I know what you're talking about. These things. Are there any other 90s kids out there that remember potato guns? When you are eight years old, there is nothing better than shooting your brothers with little pieces of potato in the face. I can't even get started about how amazing they are. And as if all this wasn't good enough, these will allow you to annoy people at a range of more than two meters. That's right, you can annoy people and keep to social distancing. Just just buy one, just get out and buy a potato gun. Honestly, it will change your life. Anyone else remember these things? Aren't they brilliant? Okay guys, it's that time of the week. It's time for this week's Easy Growers. <coughs> no. Abs no, absolutely no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm such a child. Now this week is a bit of a challenging one. Camellia sinensis. Probably never heard of it, right? What have I said? Tea. Yep, that's right. This plant will allow you to grow your own brew. Figures have shown that possibly 40% of all the fluid drunk in the United Kingdom is tea. Now let's just clear up something before we get started. A lot of people want to know, how do I grow green tea? How do I grow oolong tea? There is no green tea plant. Camellia sinensis will allow you to grow black, white, green, and oolong tea. The way in which you get different teas from a Camellia sinensis plant is to harvest the leaves at different times of the year. The other thing to say about this particular plant is that there is a lot of contradictory advice on the internet, like a lot. But it seems at least that there is a possibility to grow Camellia sinensis plants indoors. At least that's what Trees to Your Door says, but they just might be trying to sell us plants. If you're watching this Trees to Your Door, please come back to me with a reply. Honestly, it will be so helpful. Now there's one more big challenge. If you are growing a Camellia sinensis plant from a seed, it takes three years to grow into a plant that produces usable tea leaves. And that is way too long for me. But it's not all bad news, because rather than buying seeds, you can buy young Camellia sinensis plants. And allegedly, if you look after them right, Camellia sinensis plants can live for 400 years. 
plants. So it's not like you're missing out on any precious time with your plant. They would also grow great on a balcony, I'm sure, but if you're gonna grow them outside, you need to put them outside during the summer, and then some people say that you need to bring them in during the winter. Again, do your research before buying these things. But I think this is really exciting. How good would it be to invite your mates over for a cup of tea and then be like, let me just go and make the tea using the tea leaves which I harvested from my own tea plant. So that's this week's recommendation. But like I said, it is a kind of slightly more advanced plant to be growing. Have any of you grown tea plants? Does it not work? Does it work? And how difficult is it? One more thing before I let you all go. I was browsing the social medias the other day and BBC Earth flashed up a regrow playlist hosted by a guy called Max Lamanus. And then I clicked through and watched a video in which Max Lamanus was regrowing spring onions and basil on his windowsill. Now, I'm not saying that BBC Earth stole my idea, but they definitely did. This is like back in 2015 when I drew this picture of a robot and then all of a sudden Star Wars has got new films coming out and there's this new character called BB-8 that everyone's so mad about. Seriously, look at them. Look at them. Tell me they're not the same. If I feel like you, make your nemesis. But in all seriousness, this is worth a watch. So that's it from me for this week. If you have any ideas or comments or questions or answers to anything you've seen in this video, please, please, please do get in touch. Don't hesitate. Please like and follow me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter. I am at man planted and on Instagram, I am the man who planted potatoes. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe down below for more content. Thank you so much, guys. Your support really makes a difference and I'll see you all next week.